Oh yes, we're here. On to the fourth installment. Let's take this leprechaun to space. Bust out your lightsabers, baby. So Leprechaun 4 in space, the fourth installment in the Leprechaun franchise. Of course, not following any of the guidelines or paying attention to any of the films that came before it or anything like that. We are launched into a storyline where we follow a group of futuristic marines who end up coming across the Leprechaun as he steals. It's a humanoid alien that he steals to become his wife or he wants to wed her and they come across the Leprechaun and just all kinds of chaos ensues. This is a wild film so let's get into this. So Leprechaun 4 in Space is actually scored by, I wanted to mention this right off the bat, Dennis Michael Tenney, who actually did Night of the Demons, which is one of my favorite, favorite horror films of all time. He also scored Witchboard, which is another great horror classic too from the 80s. And this film is just, oh man, if you thought the third Leprechaun film was bonkers, this one goes all for it for real. Like this one is just as crazy is that third film where they throw everything at the wall you're waiting to see what sticks like there's some crazy storylines like the futuristic marines in here are kind of a bombastic wild version of the marines you kind of come across in aliens but these ones are like i wouldn't say like I said they're not like you hate them they're not characters you hate like i would be lying to you if i said that the characters in this film didn't have some dialogue in there that made me laugh. Like every single character in this film from man, woman to the old to Dr. Mittenhan. Oh man, they all had lines in this film that made me crack up or had me laughing at some point. But does that mean that this is a great film? No, it's not. Is this a good film? No, I'm not going to lie to you. This isn't even a good film. This is a pretty bad movie. Like I said, but just it's wild to see our leprechaun who actually ends up wielding a lightsaber in this one, chopping a dude down. Like I said, we have Dr. Mittenhand in this movie who is a half human, half cyborg, like computer thing. Like, oh man, there's some crazy stuff in here. We end up getting into a mutation aspect into the third act like it just goes bonkers it starts off kind of like oh we're wild we're in space you know and most franchises horror franchises you know like when they go to space that's where you go to die that's when people are running out of ideas the writers they just like they're like oh what are we gonna do now well let's let's freaking send jason to space let's send the leprechaun to space like that's the kind of stuff that pops out when you're running out of ideas so yeah this film you could definitely tell it's not you know like i'm not gonna lie to you it's not a great film it's out there, wild, bonkers, but I could have fun with it, like I said, because it's at least comical. There's so many moments where it's just out of there, out of its world, and the dialogue just made me laugh. I had me rolling because of the characters, and it's just so much ridiculous crap that you would never think to see something like this. And Warwick Davis does come back to reprise his role in this film, and in this space film, he does do a lot of wild kills. He gets to do a lot of crazy, bombastic stuff, and it's kind of funny, his little, like, the chemistry he has on screen with the humanoid chick that he's trying to wed and make his wife. Like, they have a really funny humanoid, like, uh, chemistry on screen because she's kind of this sadistic, evil alien chick who doesn't mind being wed to him because he's rich and he can give her all the riches in the world because he's got mystical powers. So it's kind of like them teaming up against all the other people on the crew and stuff like that. And after they find her and she wakes up, yeah, it's like basically them teaming up against everybody else. We also have another character in this film too who plays one of the Marines. I forgot the actor's name, but he was in Friday the 13th part five. And he was also a DJ in the Street Fighter movie from Jean-Claude Van Damme back in the 90s. Oh, man. So it was kind of funny to see him as one of the Marines he ends up living to. And that's one thing I wanted to say, too. Spoilers ahead. We're, gonna, well, we're talking spoilers, of course. Uh, the Leprechaun, he basically dies at the end of every one of the films. You could check out my other reviews. I got reviews for the first three Leprechaun films. He dies at the end of all those movies. And he dies at the end of this movie, too. So, yeah, this Leprechaun... He's immortal, but like I said, oh man, don't pay attention because the writers, directors, they care not what happened in the previous film. They don't give two shits. They're going to make these Leprechaun films. They're going to pop them out, and it's Trimark backing them, and they don't give a shit. They're going to give them the money, and they're going to put it out there. So that's what I mean. Like, oh, it just happened. This one came out in 96, and you can definitely tell the graphics-wise, but still, there are films that came out in the 90s that looked better than this graphic-wise. Like, the graphics are fucking awful like oh man i've played video games that have better graphics 
than this film. But like I said, I can still have some fun with this movie. For me, in my book, Leprechaun 4 in Space is going to sit like a 5 out of 10. It's still an average film for me because I crack up laughing. It's not going to be a film I return to very often. I'm not going to put it on like, oh, it's not going to be the first Leprechaun movie I think of to put on. But if someone asks me, they're like, oh, I just want to freaking laugh or I want to drink. I just want to have fun. I want to watch a shitty movie. I want to get it drunk and have fun and laugh at how bad it is. I'm going to be like, let's watch some fucking Leprechaun 4 in space. So thanks for sticking around with me all for this review and rad movie review retrospective talking of Leprechaun 4 in space. We're going to be on to the next one. Where are we going now? We're going to the hood with the Leprechaun. That's where we're going next. So stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing and click that notification bell so you're notified anytime I post videos. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.